big GT there. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Big GT, big shark! Oh! Oh! Good morning, Cavi. Good morning. Getting the drone ready for us, brah. The drone. Drone it. Have we got a surprise for you guys in store today? We do. You're not going to even believe what we're going to do today, man. It's going to be wild. It's going to be wild. Got this little mozzie thing happening that Cavi's got. So far, seems to be going reasonably all right. The GTs will get you. Yeah. We'll watch out for them GTs, yeah. man. It's like four o'clock or something. It's real early. No hint of sun. <sighs> We're gonna need coffee happening before we do anything. My corner have to be Yep, that's right, boys. That is right. <sighs> Where's all this um shoes? What? Where's the coffee? Right here, mate. Right here, mate. Money. I'll just give it to you, eh? Give it up, mate. You go. Hand it over. Here's the gold. Even though you only have like one sip and then put it in your chair for when we get back. I know. like the yeah. feeling of coming back for the coffee. You know we can make another one, eh? Yeah. Our little song for the morning is this. Mosquito. Mosquito. Gonna come around. Flying around our legs, trying to bite us. Well, not today. We're about to head out there, guys. Just loading up the last of our stuff. I got two rods. Don't know how many cavies taking. How many are you taking? Ten. Ten. Taking ten rods. We got big plans for today, man. Big plans. It's still a little bit too dark to film. Big hookups. But by the time we get out there, it should be good. How excited are you today for the action, man? Mate, I got the drone here, so pretty frothing. I don't know. We'll find out. Semi sketchy. Super sketch. GI Joe. There you go. There we go, bro. All right, we're near in the near in the zone, guys. Here's our ledge. <sighs> so I'm gonna run a popper first up because the popper seems to be the one that's actually doing the business in the mornings. I've actually got one of Cavi's own specialty poppers. He made them himself, man. <laughs> Don't say that, mate. I didn't make them myself. You pretty much, well, yeah, you orchestrated, you orchestrated it, man. Yeah, you may not have made it, but you orchestrated it. A Cavi brand popper is what I'm going to use. That's it. And we'll see what we can catch on that sucker right Well, yesterday right you had your opportunity. Oh, bro, I pulled hooks right at the rocks, man. And nearly got hooked myself. Did a big matrix dive last. As the popper went past me. Getting enough light to film for you guys, so we're about to throw the first lures. You should bring your pliers down a bit closer. I'll put them in my pocket. Super slippery. Oh man. Whoa. Yeah. Saltiga 18,000. Dragger breakthrough rod from Daiwa. Three piece travel rod. Cavi's own popper. You can see the GT bites in it, man. So we could be on today. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. I got a long leader on this time. Oh. Real calm and today, eh? I hope I'm filming. I can feel it. I can feel it in my fingers. <laughs> oh, that's. Oh, cool, dude. Yeah, that is wild, eh? <laughs> Gonna put a smaller profile lure on, just something different. Open up the possibilities of tuna. That's a little Molossi Chieftain. Pretty heavy hooks, pretty heavy split rings on there, so if a big GT smashes it, we're still in business. <laughs> What's happening, Kevy? Sun just came out full swing. Absolutely zero. <laughs> yeah. Every time we've been here in the morning, we've had hits within the first two casts. Caught the gangster yesterday of this area. You might have. Now they're over it, eh? It's the morning, and we've had no hits. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, put your hand 
Yeah, boom! Boom, boom! Flip ball, headbutt in the water. <laughs> yeah. GoPro, GoPro to the bottom once again. All right, we're moving. We've never been around here this time of day, man, so it'd be real interesting. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> You're always excited, man. We're at the GT hole and we're gonna cast that. You can see there's like, there is like a bit of a current line hitting the ledge, so we'll see what we can catch over there. Yeah, we got some cool stuff. We got some cool plans today, guys, so stay tuned. We're gonna have some crazy action just like yesterday. Oh, you're doing so much! Mate. You gotta make the noise when you come up. Yeah. It's kind of a mesh, but it's not too bad. A mesh? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Let's go. <laughs> we'll go set up kind of similar zone to yesterday. Oh, bait already, bro. Bait already, man. For sure. Yeah. Popper's on first, boys. Popper's on first. Ready to go too, it's just, it's just ready to go man, it's just speaking the language. I'm gonna keep this Mawasi handy because I reckon I'm gonna throw that after the popper if there's nothing in the first 10 casts. Yeah. Cavi just saw a huge mackerel, he reckons a monster mackerel just come up, chase a bit of bait right here, so. I mean, it's looking so much more promising than the last spot, that's for sure. I might even stand like right down there in the barnacles. Give us a countdown. Where are you casting? Where are you going? I'm, I'm going to sort of cast out here. Oh, he's going out here then. Sweet. Right, three, two, one. Look at those poppers go, man. Listen to them. Really well. Yeah. I think I've got my hook a bit big on this one. Oh, yeah. That'd be good for it. Oh, GT, bro. Yeah? Yeah. I think. Or is it a mackerel? Nah, it's GT, I think. Like, quite deep, but he was semi interested in the popper. Oh. Oh, my God. What, bro. Was, what was that? That was a very, 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 very big shark. Something just bocked mine, man. Did you see the shark? Yeah, I saw him diving, yeah. Whoa. The saga for the J Wilds GT continues. This is like full film, man. Joining me on the crazy journey. Try to get my first big, big land based GT. Gonna try that one there, guys. It's a little Nomad Riptide. Sinking 125. So we'll give that a quick shot on the Soltiga 5000. Well, that's what we want. Oh! Holy sh! <laughs> Long Tom man, just out of nowhere, bro. He bit it too, but didn't hook up. Oh, Long Tom's on it. Oh, I got him! <laughs> oh no! Didn't see the size of that long time, man. Hey, All right, we're going with a little bait junkie, soft plastic. Send it down deep. So I've seen a few predators lurking down in the depths. What happens now? Do it! Cast, 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 man. Cast it that, cast it that, bro. Oh, he's diving. Are you still hanging? Very big. Don't let him see you. This could be intense. Potential to be intense, man. Oh, spooked. Oh my gosh. That was huge, man. Yeah, I needed a floating and I could have done it a bit slower. Yeah. Mm. 
see what's kicking about down in there, boys. Look at that. All right. Can you see him? Oh. Big GT. He was big, bro. Really? That was a big fish, man. Yeah, boy. What is that? Do you know? Oh, oh let me go. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Big GT, big shark. Shark's got it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Big GT there. Can you still see that big GT? Wow. That shark came out of nowhere, man. And the GT, that was actually crazy. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Right. Oh, that's our food. Yeah. It was nuts, Cabby. Yeah, man. Shark, the shark's still right here, bro. Yeah. Oh, GT, GT. You want the GT, not the There's a GT with him, man, a silver one this time. Oh, yeah. Come on, GT, where are you? GT just popped up under the school of bait. I got the sinking Melossi. Can you still see him? Tuna down here. I might wait till I can see him and then I'll literally cast. Look like a big silver GT, like quite a big one. There he is. Ready, Cabby? Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, but look. Oh. oh Did you see him? He like turned a bit. Oh, GT. Big GT behind the school. Oh, look at that. Tuna. Oh. Big Spanish. Real big one, bro. Huge Spanish mackerel. Did you see that, guys? The bang is a full barring us. I can see one. Real big silver one. We're going to put that on there, guys. Untamed lure. Give that one a shot in this current. Yeah, boys. Let's go. GT! I told you, the fly gets a GT! There's, there's, a, there's, there's a shark on him, man. Yeah, yeah, well, I don't know what to do because you're... You're a big head, eh? Yep, yep. Stay up high. Yeah, bro. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Long, I saw a long time, so I grabbed the P. So I grabbed the Salt Tiger 5000. And a freaking big black GT is just come and smoked it. Oh, gone. I know. Yeah, the long time one of that, then the black GT was his honor though. Well, I saw the long time, that's what made me go back. Because yeah. I've been casting that stick bait for hours, bro. I watched the whole thing go down. That was crazy, bro. 
you had the black GT, I can't believe it. Oh, he's got me in a reef. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> ah. On the little bucktail, man. Show you guys this. This is what that freaking huge black GT just bit. A white version of that little tiny freaking thing. Yeah. Is what oh, that man. huge GT just freaking nailed. That's Are you really serious, cool. man? <laughs> what? Are you freaking serious, man? I've just been casting the heavy set for like two hours straight, man. I'm not even joking. My luck chasing bangers is not freaking good. Might have had a chance to land them on a heavy set for sure, but not on that light set. That was a real big fish. Oh, yeah, no way. That just would have been a massive work if you did. Yeah. Cannot give up. We've got to keep going. Dream fish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my dream fish as well, bro. My Look at the big shark below us. Look at the big shark below us, man. Right here. Yeah. Cavy's going back. He's going to take the fish back. Look at the teeth on it, man. The razor sharp. Crazy. Half chewed. And we're going to stay back and fish for a bit longer. I want to catch something before we go back to camp today. That's the plan. So we're going to hang around. I'll see you back at camp. Oh. Big GT. Come on. Come on. Big GT, guys. You see that? Big GT, big GT. See that man, big silver GT. Five more casts and I've got to go back to camp. I'm so exhausted man. One, two, three, four, five. I'm not gonna lie, this is not fun anymore man. I literally casted all day. The only times I stopped casting when I change GoPro batteries and at the same time I'd have a quick drink of water and maybe something to eat. The only action I got was on the light set when I was trying to catch a long time. I feel so exhausted man. Last bit of water. I must admit guys I'm feeling pretty low right now. This whole GT goal, land based GT. Why does it always go? Everything seems like it's just not going my way at all, ever, on all the trips I ever do. I need to get the first one. I need to catch the first proper good GT off the rock and get the monkey off my back, man. Am I gonna freaking get it, man? Am I gonna get it? I've got one power bank left to charge the batteries, so we're getting low on power. I don't even know if we're gonna do this, man. I don't even know if it's gonna happen. I saw 10 GT, they all followed my lures, yeah. and none of them hit it. Same thing. Same thing, just like, I tried like six different lures, I only saw GT. Yeah. I didn't see anything else. So as soon as that tide started ripping out, the GT were coming through. Coming back again. Yeah. I casted the entire time. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. I knew you would, I was thinking, oh, he's going to be there for ages. Have you tried some yet? Yeah, I just tried a little bit now. What do you think? Real good, man. Oh. Like first best gym. What's your rating out of 10? Oh, for me, it's, oh man. Spanish Mac is 10. It's a big call. Cool. Well, it's my favorite fish. There's no other fish I like more. Okay, we just cooked up the Spanish mackerel. They got bitten in half by the shark. A good bit of protein that we freaking need, man. We need it for tomorrow, that's for sure, eh? So everything's looking good for tomorrow then, huh? Yeah. It should be re-energized unless the tropical cyclone comes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, stay tuned. Give give these guys a little bit of wise words just quickly before I stop recording, Kevin. Wise words. Yeah. Respect the sea. That's it. Respect. Yeah. It's all about respect, mate. Respect everyone, everything, and everywhere. off the mountain strong it is nuts we can't fish anyway even if we got to the ledge it's unfishable what do you have to say man love it <laughs> we were fishing down there every morning look at it now just another thing 
to stop Jay Wilds catching his banger. This is like a movie. It is a movie. The ups and downs, eh? Camp found, here we come. We're singing songs, because that's basically, we've gone to like the crazy time where we just sing songs, because we're all mad now. Stuck on islands. Ain't nothing gonna break my stride, except for big waves and wind, and stuff that stops us going fishing. Daily diary update, big GTs. Elude me once again, man. Oh, mosquito. Super windy, but the mosquitoes are still like here. So Kevy's just fired up his little, his little contraption. But the overall mood is not too bad. Do you want an MSI? Yeah, might as well get it. All right, breakfast time. Heating up the Spanish mackerel, which is actually nice and chilled from last night. Cooking it on there. Putting it on crackers. A little bit of lime. I might try that and see how that turns out. Look at the waves coming into our bay right now, man. No joke. Might bring in some big fish into the bay, man. Yeah, 100% I'm going to have a cast. Spark it up. A little bit of olive oil in there. It's actually incredibly cold, man. I know, like what? What? Exactly. Yeah. But it gets everyone. It gets me. It's pretty hyperactive anyway at times. You reckon? This is crisping up real nice. I'm going to try a little bit. Yeah, it does. A little bit of crispy nice. skin. Oh, yeah. Um. But she's all good. Put that down there. Turn this off. This episode was brought to you by Australian Red Island Extra Virgin Olive Oil. Nah. Nah. Imagine it. Nah. nah. Some, some people would trip out because they'd see the logo facing the camera and they'd, mess, they'd write in the comments that we're sponsored by them. Do you get those comments? You just, you just got to try it, man, I reckon. A little squeeze of lime. All right, we're going to have a try. I think that's actually really good. That's really good, man. It's impossible not to be good. That is real good. I might, I could have probably put a bit more lime. The on. lime. No, yeah. that's it. But the really good mackerel with the crispy cracker and the lime. Good job. It's probably like one of the best feeds we've had. Making use of the fish that we had to keep because the shark ate half of it. I'm gonna eat all this. Very it's gonna be good. Oh, cooked it. Gin and juice, way back. Good morning. How's it going, man? Good morning. Beautiful, isn't that? <laughs> Another epic overcast day with howling winds and high seas. Another slow morning. Decided not to go over the hill first thing because it looked a little bit threatening rain and stuff like that and you know what the deal is if we go over there and it rains we're in big trouble so we're just going to see what the day brings chilling at camp having a coffee oh, and trying not to get eaten alive by the mozzies we've got all the little things going to try and keep them away little guy down here i'm gonna rig these little burners or oh, someone's cavy has got this going and yeah we're just chilling trying to make a plan today so there's a few options, but definitely wasn't an early morning um, situation this morning. My leg's very sore today when I kickbox the rock. Fighting that barracuda, very sore. Can you see that? So yeah. Show us. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> I don't know if I've got any nerves in it. Today's gonna be a good day. We're gonna make it a good day. You're gonna see some cool action today, that's for sure. Night out, and I'm not back yet, then maybe something happened. Cause I'll come back before dark for sure. Good luck, man. Yep. Don't get, later, don't man. get smoked by a snake. <laughs> Jungle time. Have fun. Yeah, I'll smash my leg like you did. Don't do it. <laughs> Sweet, bro. The black oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. I'll catch you later. Sweet, man. Good luck, eh? All right, Cavi's going over to where we went yesterday, over to that tropical beach on the other side of the island. Today, I want to go around and see if the GT ledges are fishable, see if our rods are still there, just have a look at the whole scene. Probably just wait for that tide to start pushing a little bit more because it's the top end of the high tide when the current absolutely howls through there. So yeah, we want to be there for that for sure. And if it's fishable, I'll fish it. I'll just be very careful. We're going to go and look for some monsters today. You'll come with me. Ooh. 
Remember we found this right here on the camp beach on day number one. Straight and hooked, so obviously someone got smoked, lost the fish, lost the lure. Imagine if I took that round fishing today and caught a fish on it, that'd be wild. Let's change the hooks obviously, but I'm gonna do it, man. Let's do it, let's take that round and let's see if we can catch a fish on that today. A big GT or a Spanish or something. Imagine that, man, that'd be freaking wild. Yeah, see you later, camp. We'll be back to camp later, but let's go check the rods. And if it's fishable, man, we're fishing for sure. I've got lures, we've got the camp lure that we found on the beach. So if I can catch a fish on that, that's kind of gonna be a goal for me. Big GT or something would be amazing, man. Whew. It's a bit different now. I wonder what that is. All right, the rods are still there. I can see the rods there well well high enough we'll just sort of come over here and suss out the whole zone it looks very fishy but you have to be very careful oh. I can get up and down there it's good Rods are here. Pretty hammered by the salt spray by the looks. You can see the water's coming up there, so that would be instant slip off. Okay, I got the rods. Tide is now high, guys. We're gonna head into that bay. Last time we were in there, there was a huge bait ball of bait fish in there. A few GT and all sorts of stuff cruising around. Cavy got a big coral trout right here. Through the jungle we go, boys. Half the adventure of fishing these zones is a freaking getting to the zone, man. Look at this. Boulder fields, snakes, crazy. Looks very fishy. All the surge running in. Should mean fish are feeding in here. Things getting dislodged by the waves. The fish should be feeding in amongst this bay. Oh, look at that, look at that right there. Is that GT? Oh my gosh. Let's have a cast. GT. Probably should go get my heavy set. He'll be patrolling the bay, so he'll come back in. I betcha. We'll go get the heavy set. If we see him again, I'll cast that to him. Would have been a heck of a scrap on that setup. Go. Yeah. Salty to 18,000. Drag a rod, a little bit more suitable for that big GT. <laughs> okay. Do you remember this lure? The rescue lure from the beach. What is gonna happen? All right, we're sitting up here, overlooking the water, armed with the rescue lure. I've just put some big trebles on it. See if that GT comes cruising back around because He'll be patrolling this bay, patrolling this area, so there's a high chance I'll see him again. All right, I'm just gonna have a few blind casts and just see what happens. We might, there might be a fish cruising that I can't see or. Oh. GT guys, GT. GT right here. Come on, eat it. Come on. Big whitewash came in. I don't know where he is now. Oh no. Come back, where are you? Oh, oh yeah, got him, got him. Oh, pulled hooks. No, why the heck do I keep doing that? Oh, 
Oh, another one. Something else. It was a different color though. I don't know what it was. The rescue lure. <laughs> Crazy man. Oh, GT's under it. I saw a GT out swimming past. Come on, bite it. Oh, hit. Come on, grab it, grab it. Here it comes, here it comes. Come on. Oh, he had two goes at it. Where is he? We'll try that there, see if I can sink him down. Big bite. All right, I'm gonna have a couple of casts here on my way past. It's landable down there. I can land a fish down there. Oh, yep, yep, oh. Oh. On. First cast, man. Okay, I don't want it to go around the corner. Try to get it up on the top of the water. Okay. Yeah, boys! Okay. I've got it just below me. We're gonna try to keep it up on the surface. Land it in our crack. Oh, man. GT, yeah baby! Want to tire it out before I go across this, but that's for sure. Let's go. Oh. Come around here, fish. Here we go. Keep coming. Keep coming. Oh. Woo -hoo -hoo! In the crack. Hey. Bail open rod there. Alright, I come prepared. I've got my other camera here. Woo -hoo -hoo! Stoked, man. First proper GT off the rocks. On the Molossi. Okay, let's not muck around, we'll get the hook out and we'll release it right now. Yes. He's down, he's gone. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! That worked really well. Yeah, baby, on the Molossi Rogue. <laughs> Stoked, man. Okay, getting out of here could be semi intense. But we'll see how we go with wet shoes. I go up there, it's a bit flatter. Okay, we're sweet. A success, I'm stoked. Today was not wasted. Oh guys, I'm so happy, man. I'm so stoked. Oh, let me just tuck down here out of the sun. What a freaking ordeal, man. It has been hectic getting to this point. Is that gonna mean that I've got the monkey off my back for future trips? Let's hope so. <laughs> I've worked for that fish, man. So hard, so many trips. Finally, finally we made it happen, man. And I'm so stoked you guys could be here to join me on this. Mood right now, 10 out of 10. I'm freaking pumped, so pumped. <laughs> Sun is going down, boys. Let's take these off. Sun is going down. Cab dog's home. You made it back, man. Yeah. Guess what? what? I got one. Oh, sick. No way. <laughs> That's sick. 